I'm Misaki and I'm 23 years old and I'm from Japan. Some of you guys might saw me before on TokyoFashion.com. It was two or three years ago when I had a pink hair. I can speak English kind of because I studied in the States for a year when I was in college. So this past summer, I shot a video with TokyoFashion.com in Harajuku. But I got too busy after what my clothing website I just launched a few months ago and I was traveling, shooting and I was so busy so I didn't have time to finish up this video but I know it's so hard to tell people where, where you want to go if you are in a different country or when you are talking to foreigners where you want to go and I also wanted people to understand how Japanese people call brand's name here because even if it's an international brand or even they have an English name we pronounce it so different I hope this video will be helpful for you guys if you are visiting Japan soon in the future or if you are learning Japanese right now please check out this video and remember all the names so today I will be visiting stories and I will be interviewing some Harajuku kids how they pronounce brand name here let's go what's your name? Forever 21 Forever 21 Forever Forever 21 Forever 21 When you talk to friends, how do you feel? Forever 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 21 is forever We pronounce V more like B in Japanese and so that's why we say forever forever then also like um we like to shorten words because it sounded kind of cool right so we don't say 21 we just say forever Vivian Westwood Vivian Vivian Westwood Vivian Westwood is Vivian This one is quite similar to Forever 21 V sound is changed into B sound more like it's more like B sound so we say Vivian Also we don't really have to say the whole name of Vivian Westwood because Vivian Westwood is so famous with Japanese fashionable people so if you say Vivian people already know what you're talking about この店なんて言いますかスプリームスプリームたまにシュプとかって言いますこの店なんて言いますかシュプリーム短く言ったりとかしますかシュプですかシュプリームシュプリームですありがとうございます短く言ったりしますか Sprum is so popular with Harajuku kids who is into street fashion and they recently did a collaboration with Come The Girls and 2 and they also did a um, uh, Sprum and a Jordan one I kind of wanted to buy too and yeah I saw the picture that there's a bunch of people like waiting in the line very early in the morning in front of the Sprum Harajuku store and yeah, so when you pronounce sprium, I don't even know how to do it in English. We call it shuprium. So, shu, su sounds more like shoe, like shoes. And we even sometimes shorten it too, so we just say shup or shuprium. この店なんて言いますか?6%ドキドキ。短く言ったりしますか?あ、お願いします。6%ドキドキ。6%ドキドキ。6%ドキドキ。6%ドキドキ。6%ドキドキ。6%ドキドキ。6%ドキドキ。
this brand is so famous with people who is into Harajuku fashion and the foreigners too they have a lot of foreign customers and 6% Doki Doki sounds totally different in Japanese we call it Lokpa Doki 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 sounds the same but the first part Loku is 6 in Japanese and Pa I mean Pa is a short for percent so Lokpa Doki Doki is Japanese name of 6% of six Doki Doki but true 6% Doki Doki lover doesn't call it by their full name they would just say Lokpa so if you are in Harajuku and you wanna go to 6% Doki Doki you can just say let's go to Lokpa I used to work at vintage brand shop in Tokyo, so I have a lot of experience with Chanel. So Chanel isn't really an English word, it's French word, but I can speak French, so I will just talk about the difference between Japanese and English. Uh, so when you say Chanel in Japanese, you have to convert it into katakana, so we call it Chanel. I think many of you guys already know that R and L is very confusing between English and Japanese. So Chanel is more like Chanel. Like L is more like R sound in Japanese. So if you are in Japan and you want to buy Chanel, please remember to say Chanel. What's the name of this Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton, that's not English word again and I suddenly just realized that three of these brands name are not English and it's French but I think it's okay because it's very famous brands in like everywhere so yeah I'm gonna talk the difference about LV like pronunciation LV in English and Japanese so difference between um, English and Japanese when you say LV it's like it's loose button but L will change it to R V will change it to V so LV is more like R B Louis Vuitton コムデギャルソン。コムデギャルソン。なんか短く言ったりとかします。いや。ギャルソン。あ、ギャルソンか。ギャルソンです。コムデギャルソン is one of the most famous Japanese brands in the West, and the designer Rei Kawakubo is the main people who made Japanese brands famous outside of Japan in 1970s. This brand also have a French name and I don't think it's that different between French, French English and Japanese. Comme de Gyozun, we say Comme de Gyozun and we shorten the word, we just say Gyozun but we pronounce it more like Gyozun, Gyozun. We pronounce more R like Lu and if you want to say the whole thing, come the Gelson, come the Gelson. So M will be more like M, come the Gelson. Gelson. What's the name of this place? Ameapa. Ameapa. American Apparel. Ameapa. 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 The last one is American Nepal and. This is not a French word, it's obviously English. It's not gonna be that confu confusing, but it's gonna be super confusing at the same time. American apparel, we pronounce it American apparel. Apparel sound totally different for me. A lot of people, okay, many of them call American apparel Ame Appa. Ame is a short for American and Appa is a short for apparel. If you hear Ame Appa, Ame Appa, I wanna go to Ame Appa, you wouldn't even know if they are talking like American apparel. Apparel means fashion in Japan. If you are like working in fashion, you don't say I work in fashion, they say I work in apparel. Apparel is quite 
like common words in Japan. So remember, ame apa. This is the end of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully, you guys found it interesting or informative. And I would be so happy I could help you guys in some way. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is a T-shirt I made. I done pizza with you because <laughs> I love pizza so much and all of my friends know that I'm a pizza lover and they call me pizza queen. I designed this fox symptom too so if you are interested in my stuff you can check it out. I will put a link below and it's called Hoshi Glam. If you guys want to get to know me more you can follow my Instagram and Snapchat which is Misaki Tokyo and yeah, please, 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 please follow my clothing website, Hoshi Glam, because it's still a baby. I just started it, so please support my clothing brand. Feel free to comment below what you guys think about this video, or if you guys have any request about words like in English and in Japanese, you can comment it too. And hopefully, see you guys soon again, and bye! Thank you for watching!